you know, uh, I got a lot of emails and a lot of um, uh, comments in the section below about me and the lead attorney the other day. And a lot of it is about new people and they really do not understand. I think the, the sector that I was in understand me a little bit more than the people that are new or whatever. I am the type of person I'm not super sensitive. Okay. I don't think I am. I can be. I have a vulnerable side. I'm a human being. But when it comes to sub subject matter and people getting mad at you and slamming things and hanging up, being a blogger to me and you having a panel, that's just part of the um that's part of what happens. Okay. He doesn't know me. I don't know him. He doesn't know my temperament. I don't know his. But one thing I did see on that video, and I hope you guys seen that. When I was talking, he was just calm. Then he waited for a trigger word. Then he raised his voice. Then he acted a fool. You got to know what is being played in front of you guys. You got to pay attention to detail. And when I seen what he did, I said, oh, okay, this is how he playing this. So I'm not going to too much explain why I do what I do because I'm for men's rights. And sometimes the, the people who you talk and speak up for, they don't always treat you right either. They don't. Believe me, I'm from a sector that I've done a lot of, you know, stuff and, and they don't always treat you right. OK, that's just life. But look at people who we know in our lives that we feel that way about. And I know I'm not the only one. So I know some of you out there doing that. But then when a stranger does it, you know, what I'm saying I'm not as mo emotional connected like that. So I'm not emotionally connected with him like that. I don't have to go over to his channel. I don't have to donate. I don't have to do none of those things. But if I try to build a community and things like that, I don't think it's just easy for us to just throw each other away at the first sight of being mad. At the first sight or even being a slightly little disrespect and anger and all this and that. You know, and if it gets too out of hand, believe me, I do demand respect and I won't be bothered with that. You know what I mean? Trust me, I got this. So it's not about allowing him to disrespect me. I came to his platform. He did not come to mine, okay? He couldn't, you have to understand, he clicked me off. He couldn't handle what I was saying. So people thinking, oh, he clicked her off. I'm looking at it in a different light. You know, over here on um, Spin Fire, I talk to people a lot of times about looking at things in a different perspective. You can look at the glass half empty or you can look at the glass half full. Okay. Either way it go. I looked at it as he could not handle someone as powerful, as boisterous, as dominant as me. And he had to click me off. He couldn't have a strong black woman talking on his panel with common sense. So he had to click me off. But most importantly, he didn't know that I advocate for men's rights. He didn't know and he doesn't know who he clicked off. That is his lack of knowing. My videos and what I've done on these internet streets speaks for itself. There's a whole sector, whether they like me or not, know what I've done. And it speaks for itself. So I don't have to sit up there and, and I can't preach one thing about men are under attack. Stand by your men. Do all this and that. And at the first sight where they make us mad, we give up on them. That's the very same thing I preach against. It's a whole community out there. And everybody is not going to kumbaya. We have this thing called the cancel culture. And I am the person that tries my best until I can't no more want to cancel the cancel culture. Now, there is a fine line and there is a limit and a cap to what I will accept. I'm not saying I will just go and take all, all types of treatment just to build a unity. No, I do have a limit as well. But believe me, lead attorney is not it. Nowhere near so that's why I tell people, don't, it's internet, it's entertainment, okay? Do not fall out or unsubscribe to someone because of a falling out. Because at 1 o'clock, you're friends, and at 2 o'clock, you're enemies. There is no loyal on these YouTube streets. This is pure entertainment. Fire out.